Hi guys, how are you going? It's Campbell here from Autodidactic Channel. Hope you're having a spectacular day. And today I wanted to uh, have a look. I've actually found a book on uh, chimeras and all these strange creatures that keep popping up in books and old maps. So I thought we'd have a look through that. Uh, but to start with, I've just found this map. And this is just... Uh, of a part of Europe, I believe. Um, what's that say? Ducatus. Uh, I don't know. All the names are weird on this. We've got all these flags up here. Got the uh, Tartarian-looking eagle. I only got one head on that one. The ring. But the interesting part on this map is down here in this picture. So, to start with, this map is from I-732. You can see it's an I with a dot on it. You can see it's an I with a dot there. I've got another one here. I, I'm not sure what that says for. I don't know, something. Uh, but you can see that's an I with a dot, and it's the same as this I in fruit, or foot, or whatever that is. Uh, so, yeah, I. And look what these guys are wearing. This guy's got this bit of Antiquitech. Got the ball down here. Uh, these, I mean, just look at the clothes they're wearing. I mean, it's just so far above what we've got today. And they've got all their bits that they carry around. This guy's in armor. He's got little sort of devil faces on his knees. He's got his Big sword hanging from a chain. This sort of, yeah. Well, how do they make this stuff? And look at this guy's hat. And our shields. What are shields, I wonder? Because what it's looking like is all this stuff, you know, it's, it's actually, and, you know, we're sort of coming to this conclusion, is this is all Antiquitech. And it's been found, and they just haven't really known how to power it, or it's been powered down, or whatever. So they've just started using them as, you know, thrusting weapons and, and fighting with them and shields. But I think these all had a different use in the old world, because as we know, everything gets turned to war because they want us to believe that we're warring people, and so they turn it into jousting and get people to go out and get sticks rammed in their eyes and things. We've got these guys playing their trombones and some drums. So I've always got the music there. But yeah, interesting little map. There we go, Saxon. Saxonial. And so it says here that this map was published in 1732. But as we can see, it said I-732. Right down here. I-732, and they're saying 1732, uh, so that's the thousand years that got added uh, when they turn these I's and J's into 1's. Here we have the book, and as you can see, publication date 1642, and illustration of Ulysses Aldervandi History of Monsters. So let's have a little look-see, shall we? So here we go, Ulysses, uh, blah, 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 Monstorium of Historia, so the history of monsters. And here we have a few bits of the strange beasties inside the book. And this guy is being crowned, and we have the fleur de lis here. All right, so we are Homo sapien. Looks normal, his face looks a bit weird though. Another one, we've seen this guy before, I don't know what it is. <laughs> Drinking soup through a straw. Um, apart from that, he looks kind of normal. Uh, now this guy, I'm not really sure of the gender, <laughs> um, yeah, the mouth, uh, 
this guy we've seen as well, Dumbo, Flying Ears Boy. And so what are all these? This guy's got four eyes. It's got extra eyes and an extra wide head. Uh, these people appear on maps as well. He's doing his little hand signal. That actually looks like the Mudra. Uh, Cyclops. This guy we see a lot as well, the bird-headed uh, people out. This is our Dronid Homo Cologruis. Yeah, they, they pop up a lot, those guys. Uh, this guy, yeah, as well, with the backwards feet, backwards-facing feet. Homo pedibus orifice. Um, now, these guys... Uh, there's actually a family around today. I believe they're in South America. And they, uh, yeah, look like this. They have just, they're covered in hair. I think they call them the wolf people, which isn't very nice. Um, and they say it's a, gen a genetic, you know, throwback, a genetic deformity. And the whole family's got it. So here we have a picture of one in the past. And they're, they're putting them under sort of monsters. Uh, so are all these, you know, funny things and these sort of funny genetic diseases, are they now DNA because someone's been messing with it and creating all these weird creatures at some point and we've ended up with some of their DNA still in our systems, you know, as recessive genes that sometimes pops out. Who knows? Another hairy old dude. He's got his uh, laurel wreath on his head. Another hairy lady, and she's, I uh, oh no, thought I said giant, but it's just a female version. Here's another one, this guy. And this is another thing. There's also another family that walk on all fours. And I think they might be in South America as well. So again, is this some kind of genetic throwback? Ah, of course, the Cinefali, the dog-headed men. And this guy looks like he's doing a bit of a dragon ball here. He's building his energy ball up. But these guys come up a lot, and there's actually a letter written by a king. Uh, that's, that's talking about the Cinefali and giving them land. Uh, satire figure. Satire. Got the horned, uh, sorry, the hooved feet. And he's furry and he's got his horns. Here's another one. And this is basically Pan. Uh, you know, got, got the goat legs, the horns, and he's playing his flute. And they're saying that this is one of the Chimera monsters. So what's going on with this guy? He looks maybe like a Catman. Catman do. Oh, and here we have one from Martin. We have the uh, Monstorium Marinium Humana Fasci. Fasci? Fasci? Hmm. But basically, yeah, a horned merman <laughs> with extra legs. So what was going on back there? We have all these stories about chimeras and about the DNA being messed with. Uh, we, we have junk DNA. We have one of our chromosomes or two of our chromosomes are actually joined into one. And so we actually have one chromosome less than the, uh, you know, the great apes and hominids that they tell us we descend from. Uh, so, yeah, we lost a gene or a chromosome, but became more evolved apparently now this guy would have trouble standing up really come on that, that's not a good form to be born into uh hippopus so he's just goat legged and is something going on with his hand don't know i don't think so basically it's normal he's just got goat legs and so most of these creatures you'll see, they seem to be uh, 
they seem to be hybrids of different animals but this guy he's got his goat leg don't know what's going on down there um he's got got a rabbit's face and ears a normal arm and this arm's got a second arm coming out at the elbow are the giants in america Gig gigantes america this guy's got his little i don't know <laughs> little pointy bit oh is that a really big arrow maybe um they've met a phoenician lady sitting there in the nude of course they're all nude and giants with again on old maps there are giants depicted all right so let's get into the interesting part of this book so we've, we've seen all the chimeras and the monsters and you know if you've been looking into this subject for a while you know i've covered them before you know people like martin and lee decay have covered it as well and many others and you, we always see the same kind of figures and this uh this lady is sitting on eggs and we have a human coming out of an egg okay so what's going on here are they hatching these chimeras and see look at this then we start to get um, biological pictures not sure exactly what that is it looks like some dentes some, oh maybe it's a tooth maybe uh, this maybe this guy was one of the the chemists look at his clothes how cool are they and of course covered in you know plants and, and these designs and symbols as they always were you know they put so much effort into the way things looked back in the day uh, this lady's androgynous but <laughs> looks like a lady that she's androgynous apparently now we get these things okay so this we're starting to get into the anatomy here I'm not sure exactly what that is but we start getting these strange eggs egg type things and you can see it, it's an egg where I've got like veins and you know cells and things growing and obviously they're describing something down here I can't read this I'll leave the link for this book below in case anyone can read it uh, in alto and um, I'm not even sure what language that is Dandy cool is that Latin I think it's Latin uh, again another egg so I'm just trying to get to the good bits okay now we start a bit of anatomy I think that's the egg inside oh, what's this looks like a little beastie standing up there okay and now the egg has turned into an infant in vitro so there's a a baby a mammal baby growing in an egg and here is the mother and look she's even got a hoop to hold up her huge stomach because it's so big multiplicity so yeah, multiple birth i wonder if they're going to be eggs no she's got what looked to be fully grown people inside her uh, natural fetus natural oh okay it is okay so they're showing this one's inverted up the wrong way because you're supposed to come out head first but yeah I mean how did they draw these guys how did they know how this all looked because you can imagine that, that, that this is obviously a womb um but babies in there but to see it like this you need to be able to get rid of all the blood and all the fluids and that to be able to see you know if you're cutting people open you don't actually see the structure because there's just you know there's blood and stuff in there so how did they how do they how did they know that this is what it looked like I haven't studied up on wombs lately uh, but it looks like it's probably fairly anat anatomically correct and it looks to be just going through the different positions that babies can be in floating around and here we go this one here is going to be a skydiver when he grows up and this one's I don't know 
Yes, he's like that. Well, I hope this guy's not going, ooh. Uh, here's some more guys. He's going to grow up to be in, a, in the circus. Do one of those brother acts for their balance. And this guy's just doing a one-handed handstand. All in utero. But yeah, so how did they draw these? How did they know what the anatomy even looked like? We've got twins here. And so they're going through all the different pictures. I mean, obviously that's not to scale. <laughs> they're not anatomical babies. Here's the placenta. So it's getting fed. And, and so obviously they knew babies were born. They came out with placentas and things. But how did they know what was inside? What was going on? And I'm not sure why they're drawing them all as fully grown. Here we go. These look like babies. Now we have a tree with people in it. Popular carpophagy. Populi. Uh, okay, so now we've got internal organs and things. Uh, so this looks like the womb. This would be what the pelvic floor, is that right? And we've got what look like kidneys here. So this, uh, this book was from the 1400s. How did they know all this stuff? Oh, what's that? So obviously this is all about uh, sexual organs. And again, now we have the baby in there and the whole setup. So how did they know? How did they? How did they know? Okay, now we get interesting. <laughs> okay, normal skeleton. Okay, we all know that. That looks like a human. Ah, and now we have our bird-headed friend, and we have the skeleton. We've got the elongated neck, bird head. You can see they're just hanging it up through its eyes. And down here, they're even naming the bones. So H is a patella, which is the kneecap. There you go. So they're naming all the bones in this bird man. So what does that mean? Did they have a bird man skeleton? Are those pictures of bird men in utero? Uh, is all this some big science experiment? What does this guy think? Is it a big science experiment? Hmm. Starting to look that way. I'm not sure what this is. Don't know. Maybe they're going out and getting people that they can practice their genetic manipulation on. Here we have the Mad Hatter Brigade again. Uh, and these, you know, umbrellas and uh, parasols. Martin actually showed a video of the first mobile phone and they showed two ladies hooked up a little transistor to a bollard to power it and one of them put up an umbrella and it had an aerial in it. So that's very interesting. What is all this stuff really? I think this is just showing different races because these all look like uh, you know, human, quite human. What have we got here? Looks like she's got a judge's wig on. She looks kind of normal, apart from the old judge's wig. It's almost like an Egyptian, uh, especially that, you know, with this scepter like that. Very Egyptian, isn't it? I wonder if, we're, if they're showing the different races, maybe. Were the different races made? Well, not that we don't even have races. Uh, race doesn't exist. It was a concept uh, that was that they came up with in the 1800s. This guy's got a few tats of flowers, got some bones hanging out his mouth. Rex, Rexapard the cannibal. And here we have, uh, looks like a statue, three-headed man. Idolum triceps. And here we have Homo cornatus in Dukutu. 
Humana Inuentis. And he's got his, his man bun, man horn thing going on there. And he's checking out his finger. Yes, I can see you. Uh, looks fairly normal though. Wearing furs. Uh, Birdman, back to Egypt, sort of Egypt looking at things. So again, we see these kind of depictions everywhere. Did they exist in reality? Because we have all the stories and now we seem to have the books. Here we go, nice double headed Tartarian eagle for you guys on this guy's shield. Oh, he's got the sword, so here we have, is that two sons or son? Yeah, it looks like two sons. They actually look, look like different sons. I think this is showing the arc, the movement of the sun. This guy's coming on top and this is the moon and the stars below and they've been defeated by the Tartarian shield by the looks of it. Uh, Prodigium Duorum Pufionum. Interesting, but that's obviously a symbolic picture. But it's very interesting that the Tartarian eagle is coming in from the top with a sword. And this is this something to do with what's happening now? Double suns, something coming in from above, and the moon defeated, and the stars have they fallen? Well, we know the stars are falling at the moment, not the stars from the sky, though. Prodigium virigemanum. Uh, this, I think they're just saying this is a German guy. Uh, here we have our, you know, what we're told is that the English lion. And looks like he's playing uh, patty cake with a cat on a cloud, no less. So again, this is, um, we're getting into a bit of symbology here. This guy's standing on a sword on a cloud. He's got his wreath or his port, portal, mirror, maybe. Uh, and that's his sheath for his sword. And he's got his sword raised and many feathers in his cap by the looks of it. Okay, so pro Progidum Equitus. Is that something to do with uh, the middle, equatorial? Don't know. I've got a guy here. He's got his dog and his horse rainbow and someone's pouring water into the sun's eye and we have charge open eagle wings oh it's raining religion uh, but of course these you know, and when we look at a lot of these crosses you know that's a, that's an, a cross like it's not a christian cross christian crosses are longer at the bottom these are just Normal crosses. It looks like this guy's trying to catch them in his bag. Uh, but yeah, raining down from strange looking clouds. Oh, who have we got here? Tuma, Tuma boy. Oh, what the, what the? He's got something pouring out of his leg. Wow, that doesn't look good. He's, he's like, oh my. Can't hurt too much. He's just sort of like, oh my gosh. Tumorous Praetor Naturum Prodigium. Hmm, oh, maybe, oh, that's probably the other page. Maybe he caught all his crosses. Oh, there's one Christian cross. Maybe you need to catch that one out of, and all the rest are fake or something. And if you catch that, then the Archon Parasite bugs start pouring out your leg. Hmm, um, I don't know. She's just eating raw corn. Icon. Vomit. <laughs> Is she throwing up that corn? And she's even got a corn mustache. Bit corny. Well, it's actually not corn, is it? It's wheat, sorry. Uh, Satao Reginus. Hmm, the thinker. Hmm. What's going on? What's written on your forehead? 
Ooh. Okay. We're back to strange creatures, I think. The animal Africanum deforme. So that's, yeah, basically a deformed African dog. <laughs> Let's see. You've got... Oh, that wouldn't be a good place to be looking. Yeah. Wow. That was... An experiment that went wrong. Oh, here we go. And look at, I mean, is this the kind of stuff they were making? We've got a peacock tail here. Uh, just chicken legs. Sort of a chicken and, and, I don't know, what is that? Like a, a big bird head, um, like a vulture or something, maybe. They even got a billy goat. So that's got everything. So, genetic engineering, hey, we have all these stories, the anarchy, the Anunnaki, there's a head for you, Martin, that guy's a head in the game, oh, okay, this lion's clearly not happy that he's been rammed. Okay, the harpy, the harpy. Harpy is a bird uh, with a lady's head that screeches a lot, a lot like that bird, we saw, the one that we saw that was Egyptian. And I've actually been thinking about harpies and harps. Angels play harps and angels have wings. Are they related? Here we go. That's the Egyptian harpy. More harpies, flying discs. I mean, how much of this is, you know, allegory? How much is real? Is this book real or is it just drawings? We don't know. Here's Scorpion Man. Is this where they got all the ideas for superheroes? Are we going to find Batman and Spider-Man in here? No, we're going to find Griffin Girl. It's got a uh, hawk head. And this one has a human head, Griffin Man. Don't know why I called that girl. It just looks, looked a little bit more feminine than this one. And so all this stuff that we see, you know, all of Egypt, all these different depictions, you know, a lot of their gods have the heads of, you know, ibis and dogs and all different types. Were they actually some kind of... And did chimeras have, you know, powers? of some kind or you know intellect or other things they could do they got them into positions of being gods because here we go. i mean this is one of the egyptian gods oh, that's horus isn't it ornithanthropus so this book is saying that that is a chimera but egyptians say that they're they're gods and the mainstream tell us that it's just all myth none of it ever happened just drawings Iconography. And then we have a Cenophilia. Lycanthropos. And on the sides here we have... Oh, she's only got one. She's got one lotus and that... I'm not sure what that is. Is that wheat? This guy's got two. Are these... Uh, is it the blue lotus? That's, uh, that's a um, psychotropic... Psychoactive drug? Is that part of it? And maybe are these just all hallucinations? Who knows? Yes, there it is again. Maybe that was part of the chemistry. Aroglyphia, double-headed ram. Okay, so here we have uh, the monstrous sus marinus. Yeah, it's a bit sus. Oh, okay, these look like they are eyes on its back. And it's got a pig head. And funny feet and scales and it seems to be a fish so I don't know if it's got gills or lungs or Lee here we go the happy couple happy um, mermaid couple playing handsies with their second pair of hands that guy's going for the grab come on mate he's even having a bit of a look he's going for it and she's like oh hang on giving him a bit of the evil eye uh, okay this is uh, Thomas the fish Looks like Thomas the Tank Engine's face there. Ooh, okay. Here we have the monstrous Marinium Demon. Wow. 
Uh, so are these the mermen and the mermaids? Oh, wow. Okay. That looks like... Oh, I don't know what's going on with his feet. Uh, but he's got his little cape on. And see his head. Does that look a bit like a Pope? Pope hat? Uh, also the cone heads. And of course the the fish gods. That's who he looks like. These fish gods that we see popping up everywhere. And even his legs. See they're not scaled. Are they add-ons or something? Oh. An aquatic horse. You know, so did these things, did they make them? Did they live? Or are these, you know, just things that, that formed but didn't have life or something? And they've got pictures of them? Or were they actually roaming the world? And did they turn into gods? Because you know, we have a lot of strange gods around. You know, the same thing in uh, the Vedic scriptures. Lots of strange animals. This guy's got two sets of eyes. And a very small pecker, <laughs> which they all seem to have. I think that uh, the person who made all of these uh, beings, he, I think he might have had a chip on his shoulder about um, the size of his manhood, because all these people seem a little um, under-endowed, shall we say. Uh, here we have, yeah, Merwoman with a donkey head. And what's going on with that? Looks like she's got a hand and then she's just sporadically got a goat's hoof and a chicken popping out her butt. Oh, okay. So you've got another hoof there and a bird foot. Oh, is this what angels are? Oh, one-legged. Is that an eye? Just weirdness. Is that a horn coming out her head? His head, its head. Looks mad, looks hopping mad. <laughs> oh my god. So, you know, now we're getting into the realm where it looks like these were just the, the genetic mistakes almost. You know, they just all got bits of pieces, bits and, you know, bits and pieces of everything. Did these things even live? Is this just made up? Because things like this, you know, we don't see much of. So maybe there was a lot of this experimentation that, you know, whatever they produced didn't actually live or didn't live long. Oh, my gosh. Because then you get this weirdness. And it looks like it's got a proboscis here. And it's just got faces. One in the stomach, dogs on the elbows, got up here, more dogs on the knees. Strange feet. Uh, but then we get other ones that... Uh, other chimeras that look like gods, you know, that are drawn on the walls of, you know, temples and things. This is Double Punch Man. And he's got horns too. Oh, he's got what? He's got wings down there. Make it hard to fly. He'd kind of be upside down like a helicopter, wouldn't you? Hanging down. And he, like weirdness. It's literally just a bird. Oh, God, I don't know. Oh, look, got double feet down here, I think. Or are they just, maybe they're just fins, got a tail, got fish scales, got a bird, bird claw. <laughs> got three heads. Let's say a dragon. I don't even know what that is. A llama, maybe. Uh, we have angry rabbit head man. And there's a head, is that a head on his tail? And again, this one didn't look come out too well. But they look like drawings, don't they? They don't look like they can just... I mean, maybe they are completely made up. Who knows? But again, like I keep saying, like some of these are gods. You know, the bird heads and the dog heads. Okay, here we have an egg with a snake in it. Is that DNA? Oh, look at this fine fellow. Look at that tail. And again, this is that line drawing that we see. 
It's all just lines. Uh, but it's very, very effective. Oh, I uh, don't want to comment on what that is. Oh, 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 wouldn't want to pick that up in a pub. Uh, oh god, we're getting yeah right. Medusa's husband, he's got them on his goatee. And another one. Wow. Okay. <laughs> uh, this guy's got his face on his back. And look at that nose. It's like a mini elephant trunk, are they? I think that's his face. Maybe it's not. She, oh, gosh, she's got one coming out of her belly button. Oh, where's your hand? Keep it clean. Oh, are they their heads, maybe? I don't know. Don't know what's going on, but we do see a lot of these headless, you know, beings, and they've got faces, yeah, on their chests. Oh, okay. So that that's just... Uh, you know, that could be a conjoined twin. Now, that doesn't have to be weirdness. That can be a conjoined twin, which it looks like it's saying there. Joined at the hip, which is a saying too, right? Oh, they joined at the hip, see? Uh, Purella bicipitus. I'm thinking Purella is like pubis, pubic bone. Uh, but isn't that interesting saying, joined at the hip? Where does that come from? I've got a double header here. So basically, yeah, conjoined twins, what used to be called Siamese twins. Again, and we, we definitely still see these today. We, uh, but that's just a natural when the embryo doesn't split properly. That's completely different to this. Oh, actually, that could be conjoined as well. It's just got extra feet. So the bodies are conjoined. So this is all sort of conjoined twin stuff. Right, did this happen when they were messing around with eggs, maybe? Oh, man, that's not the backbone, is it? They don't look too happy, really, do they? Okay, so this guy has... Is that a tattoo or is that an actual head? Um, oh, my God, here we go. Look at this. One person with uh, five heads. And seven arms. And Cyclops as well. Double headed boar, not so boring. Double headed sheep, bah bah. <laughs> ah, double headed goat, double headed cow, double headed horse. Oh my gosh, I like their double headed animals. This one, look at here, eyes in the chest. Now, I mean, we have these in museums and things at the moment. Wow, what the, what is that? Is that like an animal that, that's half plant? Doesn't actually look alive, does it? That's a bit strange. Now, birds. Okay, so now if you can join birds, now serpents, fish. Never seen conjoined fish before. <laughs> Always swimming against each other. Not a good relationship. Elephant man. Baboon. Oh, is that a baboon? Oh, is that? Yeah, I think it's a baboon or something. Monkey. Bit small for his body though. Animals with. The heads of humans. Whoa, that guy's half and half. Oh my god, I didn't realize this book was so long. Here we have one of these people with the wide heads, got three eyes, four arms, well, two arms that split into two. And this is called Infants Oribus Le Leporinus. You know, so all these uh, stories we get of like leprechauns and fairies and bigfoots and all these creatures are they actually real and is this their origin genetic manipulation this guy has a tail coming out of his stomach 
and a pretty interesting head. Uh, Princess Leia. Who'd have thunk it? This guy's just got a flat head. Don't know what else is going on with him. Maybe he's just... They cut his cone off. This dude looks uh, pretty happy. He's got a tail out his tummy as well. I think we're just seeing some dance moves here. What's going on with his feet? Look at his toes are down the side. He's got holes in them. Oh, and holes in his hands. Oh, interesting. Doing the Jesus pose. Oh, duck, duck face man. He's got a bill. Bill to pay. Okay, now we have um, one of these strange, strange chimera type weirdness things. Um, yeah, I mean, these are just getting bizarre now. Oh my gosh. She at the knees. This is. What's going on here? I mean, what were they doing? And obviously, we've seen all these pictures of the jars and the homunculi and all this stuff. You know, it really does look like there was a lot of, you know, genetic engineering going on and splicing and doing stuff. And is this also maybe what al alchemy is? I mean, look at this. This guy's got a head, uh, an arm growing out his head. Doesn't look too happy about it. <laughs> this lady, yeah, extra leg here and an extra arm. So she can be mad at you while doing something, while pulling, <laughs> giving the bird. This guy too. He can walk like an Egyptian. Oh, and he's got two legs, four legs. <laughs> Looks like he's being shadowed. Okay, yeah, well, I'm not going to say what that person can do. <laughs> like, what? Ah, this is just a very strange book. Book of Monsters. This lady is, uh, yeah, quite defenseless. This is the uh, infant, and he's got extra hands. Looks like he's got twin feet as well. See one big toe? And feet going off to the side. Uh, feet, toes. Oh, stop. Stop. Oh, look at his feet too. They're turned in. Oh, is that? Okay, that hand's backwards. Oh god, that would make life difficult. Oh, okay. This guy wants to be a sailor, but... You know, we do get these kind of deformities. You know, this kind of similar to this today as well. Um, again, is that some kind of throwback, you know, to our gene pool? Because there's weird stuff going on in our genes. Oh, that's a little rude. He's a full cone head, this one. What's going on with his stomach, though? Are they tails or something? I don't know. Looks a bit like the um the mermaid on the Starbucks ad. <laughs> what? Is he a, an early flasher? Is that what's what is that? Is that his stomach? I don't think I want to know. Oh wow, look at this guy. You just plant him in the ground and he'll stay there. He's got bits coming out here too. What's that? Does not look organic. Well, this guy's just a torso, but he's dressed well, and that's the main thing. It's how you look that counts. What's on the outside? At least that's what I've heard. Oh, this guy's got no feet. How is he standing up? Oh. I see a crash in your near future. Doesn't look too, you know, upright there, does he? Okay, here we have, yeah, um, horse legs. I don't know what's going on with the tail there. Uh, he looks kind of happy though. Yeah, he, uh, I don't know how he's going to walk though, and he's got a human foot here. Very strange. Lots of these double appendages. Oh, look, here we go. Here we have. A four-legged animal, well, six-legged, but it can actually scratch its back. Yeah, so that's got to be that's got to be a plus. Oh, and he's got two tails. Oh, here we have another back scratcher, and look, he can even stand up upright. He's got extra legs there. So here we have like a chicken with three legs, 
hybridized animals. Oh, got one coming out there. And we've all heard of Dolly the sheep. So what's really going on at the moment? Behind closed doors. And here we have some skeletons of these strange creatures with extra legs. It actually looks like it's just been tacked on, but <laughs> is this stuff going on today as well? Here we have a half goat, half man. And we know about the goat feet. I mean, is that actually got some basis in... Oh, that's a bit rude. Um, has that actually got some basis in, you know, people? Like I said before, what did... When when these animals and people and beings were changed and hybridized, did they come out with extra powers? You know, that made them godlike and so they were worshipped. As we see in Egypt. And as I mentioned with the goat feet and the horns and these sort of devil faces. Is this all some, you know, some kind of science? Because they tell us it's all about the blood, right? The blood lines. And blood has genetics in it. So here we have a horned person with strange hands. A nice fig leaf placement there. First one in the book. Oh, and I see he's got saggy skin. And again, people today have saggy skin. Is it a genetic throwback? Because we've been messed with in the past. Another cone head covered in something not good what have they just i think they've just dressed that up it's only got one front leg is that what they're saying what is going on with that that says lacera what they're supposed to be cutting its skin or something it doesn't look real happy about the whole process, does it? Oh, here we have a frog with a snake's tail. And I think these are these dwarfs. Dwarfs, again, something that we hear about a lot in our past and we still have today. And it's, um, yeah, dwarfism. We go dwarf cow. It's known as like a genetic throwback or a genetic disease or whatever. Wow, look at that. One head, two bodies. Not looking happy. Oh, and look, Dancing Baphomet. That's a bit strange. Look at these, double-headed, I mean, double-bodied yeah, animals. Very strange. And we have this, uh, Bicorob Canaan and dog and human is that the origin of werewolves maybe humans turning into wolves and here we have a bit of symbology by the looks of it look at this double headed eagle that is pretty much the tartarian eagle and this is the english lion Double-headed eagle. There you go. Was that a chimera? And so, wow, what's this? Sun, upside down pyramid. Battle in the sky. But yeah, this is called the monsters, 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 something, or the Ouroboros. Again, oh, oh, that's actually two snakes. But all this symbology, we have a lot of it, and it looks very chimera-like, doesn't it? So this book is the, uh, the Book of Monsters. So I'm just wondering, have we, you know, the whole, um, if you look into law, uh, person, no, persons, are they monsters, or is it, I can't remember now. Uh, so here it is, Law Dictionary, what is a monster? A prodigious birth, a human birth or offspring not having the shape of mankind, which cannot be heir to any land, albeit be, be brought forth in marriage. So basically, in law, a monster, 
uh, cannot be heir and cannot hold or own any land and is not allowed to have offspring. Uh, so basically, yeah, they are not man or woman. Um, but yeah, basically, this is, they've sectioned us off a part of us as monsters. Uh, and is that because of all this DNA, uh, DNA manipulation? They said we're no longer human and have, we've been changed and that's what this whole law thing is about in their minds. I don't know. What do you think? Anyway, interesting book. I'll leave the link below. Uh, that's a bit gruesome. Not sure what's going on. But yeah, I'll leave the link below for you. Thanks for spending some time with me. Hope you enjoyed that one. The Book of Monsters from the 1400s. All right. Have a spectacular day, guys. And I'll catch you all on the next upload. Bye for now.